Today I want to talk about the artist Wayne Tebow. Wayne Tebow was born on November 15, 1920. So that makes him 100 years old and he is still alive today, which is amazing. He's best known for his paintings showing food and household items in many forms. And because of this, he was actually part of the American pop art movement, which was a movement in art history that focused on artists who created artwork showing imagery of things that everyone sees. It's called pop art because it's about popular art. It's about things that were popular at the time. Here are some examples of some of his artwork. A lot of his artwork features desserts. So here we have some ice cream cones with clown faces. Here's a dessert tray. He's very famous for his cake slices and pies. Notice all of the bright colors in his artwork. If you look really closely in the shadows in this piece, you'll see that he uses a lot of blues and reds and blacks for his shadows. So not just the regular grays that we usually see. You can even see a little bit of a blue shadow on the cherries and on the side of the Sunday cups. And here is another slice of cake. Again, here you can see that nice blue shadow that really makes his artwork very vibrant. So here's what we're going to be making today. We'll be making our own Wayne Tebow ice cream cones. First, you want a nice thick piece of paper and some crayons. First, I'm drawing a V shape for my ice cream cone, and you want to make sure that you go over that wax a couple times because you want it to be really, really thick. I'm drawing the waffle pattern on my ice cream cone. It's kind of like a checkered pattern, but notice I don't have a line for the top of my cone. Instead of drawing that, we're going to use a different color and create kind of a scalloped edge using U shapes or C shapes to make the bottom of our ice cream scoop. But before I finish the rest of the scoop, I'm going to go up a little bit and add another scalloped edge for the second scoop of ice cream. Then I go back to that first color and I finish up that ice cream scoop. Now it looks like they're sitting on top of each other. I'm going to add a third scoop using that same U-shaped scalloped edge. Go back to that second color to finish out my second scoop. And then I can go back to that third color to finish out the third scoop. If you want, you could add a cherry on top, just like in some of his paintings. And now I can add some things like details. I can add sprinkles. For this bottom scoop, I decided to add some rainbow sprinkles. Notice I'm not coloring in my ice cream cone all the way because after I'm finished with my crayon details, I am going to be adding some watercolor. Now for my second scoop, I decided it might be a mint chocolate chip, so I'm using a brown and adding some little spots for chocolate chips. And on that third scoop, I'm going to add a purple ripple effect. Maybe it's some fudge or something swirled in that might be fun. Your ice cream can be whatever color you'd like it to be. Now I'm getting out my watercolors, and first I have to get my brush wet and wet the paint. I want to make sure that my paint is extra wet for this because with the wax, if there's enough water, see, it'll go right over the crayon and you can still see your drawing. If you don't add enough water to your watercolor, it might start to cover up the crayon, which is okay, but it's not what we're going for. Now remember those blue shadows, I'm going to add a little bit of blue to one side of my cone to show that that side is in the shade. It's really important that you do this while your painting is still wet. And you can also use the blue to create a shadow on the ground. Now I'm going to use the same technique for the rest of my ice cream cone. I pick my regular color for my ice cream and paint that over the whole scoop, making sure to use plenty of water so that it goes right over top of that crayon and I can still see all my little sprinkles. After I finish up painting that scoop, I go back into the blue and just add a little bit of blue to the edge of my ice cream and make sure that you get the little edges of the scalloped bottom too. 
going for some green for my mint ice cream. And remember, I'm speeding up this video. You should be painting very slow and carefully. And then I go back into the blue to add that shadow to really make it look like Wayne Tebow's work. For my last scoop, I'm going to use a little bit of pink. Maybe it's a strawberry ice cream. And it goes right over those purple ripples. Don't forget your blue shadow. And it's okay if it looks really, really blue. Since the watercolor is so wet, it will blend out and it will look beautiful once it's dry. Don't forget the cherry. And the cherry also needs a little bit of blue shadow. And there we have our finished painting. Here's another example. I hope yours turns out beautiful.